been around since 1986. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you tell us about how you guys hooked up? Well, Sean and I were playing together, and um, Shane and Rob have been together. And Scott, who manages us now, had known um, all four of us, and he introduced us, and we immediately, like, hated each other. <laughs> but, uh, so. It was weird. We kind of got <laughs> together. Yeah, it's, uh, at first we didn't get along too well, but then we just, like, kind of shut up, just started playing. Do you like each other now? But now we no, live together. Cool. Oh. We all live in the house. But that's not the good. Do you like each other? We live together. Okay. No, no, we <laughs> like each other. No, yeah. <laughs> now, you guys are a New York-based band, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of East Coast thing. And you recorded your album? Memphis. Memphis. Why Memphis? Well, because we wanted to get away from uh, New York. You know, too many distractions here. Because, you know. <laughs> hey, wait a okay. minute. <laughs> so, uh, I'm getting we, all these letters from you. We wanted to do the album live and stuff, and we figured what better place, because you're always influenced by your surroundings. Mm -hmm. So we figured what better place than where rock and roll began, home exactly. of the blues. You know, you go out and I see blues bands playing and stuff. And, um, yeah, a lot know. of history and tradition down there. You know, we wanted to soak that up. Now, you recorded the album you said before live yep. in the studio, which mm -hmm. isn't really done anymore. Well, it's not, it wasn't completely live, but some of the tracks were totally live. But uh, like all, the, vocals, all the basic know, tracks were done live. We could be, all be in a room yeah, explain together. Explain that just if, in case some people don't exactly well, understand what you mean by playing it live in the studio. Well, most bands will usually lay down the drums and then do like the guitar another day and then the bass another day and then the vocals final. Um, we did the drums, guitars, and bass all live, solos, everything, no overdubs, no um, doubling up guitars and stuff like that. And then um, for vocals, on some of the songs, they were just live, the whole song. And yeah, whiskey was just track, totally live. Mm -hmm. we, you know, sounded good, so we kept it. So. We were going for, like, energy, you know. Um, you know, sometimes it's like a magic when you get a live performance. So we were trying to get that on the album. And so it didn't matter if we made some mistakes sometimes, you know. Okay, now we're about to play a video called Soul Inside, which we've been seeing a little bit of on the Headbangers Ball, and I like a lot. It's got a neat story, and maybe after we see it, you can tell us a little bit about the story to it. Oh. Here is Soul Inside hey. from Live. Um, you guys want Shane, Sean, and myself. We were now, with that, definitely has a storyline to it in the video. Is that based on anybody you know, or is it a fictitious character? Well, it, the song is about, um, you know, following your own heart and, and uh, following your instinct, and basically anything happens to your life is um, ultimately a result of your decisions in life. So we wanted to do a story that showed that, you know, um, and represented uh, about choices in life. So we took two brothers. We figured, you know, we follow them through life, and if they go in two different ways, it's truly, it's truly a matter of choice. You can't um, say it's because their parents or where they grew up, because they had all the same opportunities in life. So it was it wasn't it a basic. It wasn't a story from like two guys we know, but we, it, we thought it was the best way to describe the story. Now, is that the story basically in the song as well as the video? Yeah, um, the story, does, the song doesn't go, the lyrics doesn't, doesn't go and talk about two, two guys, but uh, we wanted to kind of bring it to life and kind of show it. Give an know, example, it's more like an analogy of uh -huh. what the song's about. Now, you guys in your music, you're a little bit bluesy, mm -hmm. right? Do you have a lot of blues influence, you think, in the band? Well, the bands we grew up on have blues influence. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie, like, yeah, we grew up on, you know, Mississippi Halloween. bands and right. all that. Right. Well, we got that true. stuff later. <laughs> uh -huh. But, yeah. I mean, we grew up on, you know, the Stones Zeppelin, and Zeppelin Stones and Beatles. And Beatles and and you, Skinner, you, you know. Yeah, you do a Leonard Skinner cover. Yeah, Neil and Spoon, right. yeah. We, we were jamming on it and it just worked out. Now, you guys it. are about to start on a tour Tuesday night, right? Yeah. With one of my all-time favorite bands. Slab. Raging Slab. Slab. Yeah. Now, for the people that haven't seen you guys yet, what can they look forward to in seeing Law & Order Live? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure ourselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. It changes all the time, right? It depends what mood we're in. So if you guys so. see them before the show, put them in a really good mood. It'll <laughs> be a really good show. And I want to yeah. thank you guys for stopping by and look forward to it. Where do you start the show? Tuesday, you Syracuse, start where? In Syracuse. In Syracuse, New York. So Syracuse, look for Law and Order, and they'll be playing with the Raging Slab. And right now we're going to be playing a video from Iron Maiden, lead singer, and he still is the